dangers to our own lives, the lives of the unborn, our national sovereignty, our rights, our property, or the government's increasing surveillance and monitoring of its own citizens. How many others in positions of power in Washington, D.C. have shown such courage? No one that I'm aware of. Obviously, given my past experience as an IRS criminal investigator, the devastation that the IRS visits upon the American people is an important issue for me. And it is for Ron Paul also. I would invite you to go to hearliberty.com, H-E-A-R liberty.com, down to the April 24th, or I'm sorry, April 12th, 2004 entry. And there's a very interesting uh, interview that Congressman Paul did regarding the income tax. Uh, as some of you may know, anybody heard of the movie America Freedom to Fascism? It's just a little movie that, uh, that uh, my understanding is that there were upwards of three million views on Google Video. And it was knocked down to zero by somebody not wanting it to be seen that this video had been viewed by three million people. But nonetheless, it was up to three million, so let's see if we can get it back up there again or maybe double it. Anyway, Congressman Paul is in that movie. And I would invite you, if you wanted to go uh, my website, freedomabovefortune.com, uh, you can click on the movie poster and you can watch the movie for free. And uh, Congressman Paul is prominently featured in that movie and makes a lot of very excellent points about the monetary system, the income tax, and government surveillance of uh, good citizens. I'm uh, sorry, freedomabovefortune.com. Anyway, uh, in closing, I'd like, to say, or I'd like to tell you what I like about Ron Paul. He's a doctor who still makes house calls. In 1997, Dr. Paul made a, made a house call to a gravely sick patient. The patient was someone we have all been very worried about, our dear old Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam hasn't been himself lately. He's been breaking a lot of rules that he used to consider off-limits. He has scandalized himself and discarded nearly all of his virtues. Others have come along to try to help our dear old Uncle Sam to get better. The majority of them have given our dear uncle snake oil and other remedies that only make him worse. The only person who has the cure, if we can just get Uncle Sam to listen to him and follow his advice, is Dr. Ron Paul. Ron Paul is the kind of